Hello, everybody, and welcome to another installment of Mego Museum's Mint Off Card. I've been trying to work my way through the stuff that's unopened, and in the midst of that, this package arrived from Entertainment Earth. Despite Entertainment Earth packaging this very well, the kind folks at Canada Post decided to kick it all the way from the border to my house. I mean, they atomic drop kicked this thing. So I'm glad I take toys off the card, or in this case, out of the box, because otherwise this was pretty much a train wreck. I'm pretty sure the folks at Entertainment Earth would have replaced this if I'd asked, but, but I'm okay with it. I, I was planning to take these guys out. These figures are based on the 1980s film directed by screen legend John Carpenter, of who I am a huge fan, and I do love this movie. I'm not sure if the rights to the likeness of Roddy Piper are available, but it seems like most of the toy licenses going out there right now are merely based on the aliens. And these two figures are clearly based on two of the aliens that they do run into in the film. As I have so much choice as a you know fan of the Mego format these days, I'm being very particular about what I do buy and don't buy just based on space and, you know, money, obviously. But this set was one of those things where I didn't have a terrible amount of internal dialogue going on. I'm a, And at the time, I had just recorded a podcast about John Carpenter when I ordered this. So this was just a no-brainer. I, I wanted to have this. Uh, if NECA did any characters from The Thing, I'd be all over those as well. You had me at Carpenter, NECA. So let's unbox these two and see what these ghouls have to offer. And there you have it, the aliens from They Live. First off, I want to talk about the accessories that come with this. I absolutely adore this little television set that it comes with. I plan to use this in future Mint Off Card episodes. And I know these didn't cost very much, but these magazines and newspapers with the various statements in them are a wonderful touch for this set. My only concern with the set would have to revolve around the female character. They gave her, you know, instead of feet, these kind of like shoe feet that have high heels. And that does make her slightly difficult to stand. Now, I know that's screen accurate, but it does kind of drive me batty, especially when I'm trying to do a video review. However... I don't play with these things. I merely display them, so I will be able to just give her a doll stand or perhaps use a little bit of Mac Tack wherever I put her and, and get that kind of resolved. Otherwise, I really like the detail in the head, especially the male character. I know exactly who this guy is, and he is just screaming, 80s space yuppie. I know it's a long shot, but I really hope that we do see a figure of Nada or Keith David's character in the film. Uh, I need this line to extend, so I hope this sells very, very well, and NECA can begin another series of discussions about this license. 
These are available right now at a bunch of retailers across the country. I think they're going to dry up pretty quick. I got my set from Entertainment Earth, and despite my box being beat to hell, I stand by them for how they treat us. And, of course, they sponsor the Mega Museum, so I have put a link below in the YouTube comments. What do you think, folks? Are you going to obey and consume? Let me know in the comments below. Or you can hit me up on Twitter, at Mego Museum. Of course, we have a thriving Facebook group called Mego Mania, where we talk Mego and retro figures all day long. And the reliable forums at MegoMuseum.com are always open to talk about this sort of thing. Thanks again for watching. I hope you'll hit like and subscribe. Until next time, buy what you like. Take care.